What's up everyone? Today we are talking all about scapular winging. Here today, I'm gonna give you two exercises that really helped my client within like 15, 20 minutes improve her scapular winging. It was the fastest results I have ever gotten with anybody. So you can see right here, her results, her before and after. What we really did is we used this Apley scratch test, which you see her performing right here, and that showed the amount of her scapular winging that was happening. It was a reduction in her shoulder internal rotation. She also had a, you know, reproduced symptoms of right anterior shoulder pain and right-sided rhomboid pain or upper back pain. So we did these two exercises and then she retested, had significant reduction in her symptoms as well as like this really cool improvement in her scapular winging. So without further ado, let's jump into the two exercises that we used. So that way you can try them out and see some results yourself. And as a quick plug, I do offer a free seven day posture mobility challenge. In seven days, you can improve your anterior tilt, sway back, as well as the forward head, rounded shoulders that we might see in a postural presentation. Again, that is completely free. All you have to do is go down in the description, subscribe to the newsletter, and run that program. So the first exercise we decided to use was this lat smash with thoracic rotations. So the setup was really simple. We just put her on her side with the foam roller at about the lat and serratus area. We put the knees and the hips at about 90 degrees, as well as the arms. We then started to add some of these rotations where she was sequencing some breathing. We did this in order to create expansion around the rib cage or kind of like some stretching from the inside out using that breath. So that way that scapula would be able to glide and you know the shoulder would get some rotation restored. So again, you just get set up like that. You put that foam roller right below the armpits and then you start with some rotation. So I'll just have people start by reaching their top hand past the bottom hand. And as they're reaching out across the floor, I'll have them exhale everything out and their breastbone will turn down to the floor. Once they get as far as they can, I'll have them take a really big deep breath, and then they should feel this sort of expansion, stretching sensation around the back of the shoulder blade area. I then have people exhale as they rotate back, point the sternum toward the ceiling at about a 45 degree angle, and then take another big deep breath in and feel this nice sort of chest expansion happen. And then we had her do this for a set of 10 rotations on each side. Obviously, I would want you to do more, but we just did that to get some quick changes. So do more than that. Do the recommended reps here. Three sets of 10 reps on each side. And if you're short on time, then focus on the side with the winging. So if it's your right shoulder that has the scapular winging, then you can just put that side down against the roller and then do three sets of 10 on that side. So that first exercise was fantastic. It got us some good changes, but it wasn't until we did this second exercise here that we really saw that improvement. So this is what I call a squatting bar reach. Obviously we don't have a bar. We're just using a door and the doorknobs on each side of it to hold on to. But the goal of this is to really stretch out the musculature on the front and the back side of that rib cage especially around that shoulder blade itself. This was super helpful for her, especially because of that rhomboid or upper back pain she was having on the right, and this felt really nice. But the setup for this is really simple, again, like the first one. All you're going to do is just open a door or grab something at the gym that you can hold on to with your palms facing up. You will want to use something to go in between the thighs up toward the groin. So here I'm using a Pilates ball. Make sure that your knees, your feet are all in alignment with the hips so everything's facing straight forward and then you're going to back up away from those doorknobs and then you're just going to simply squat as low as you possibly can so here i'm going ass to grass getting comfortable in that position and really starting to let my lats and my upper back and shoulders stretch out. You may have to play around with how close you are to the door. I typically tell people start further away and then let yourself slide forward and allow the weight to be in the heel of the foot, not into the ball of the foot or into the toes. Now here is the most important part of this exercise. You can see while I'm here, I could easily slouch down and let my shoulders ride up or shrug up into my ears. We do not want that to happen. So the goal is to maintain your shoulders down and away from the ears, but still allow for this protraction or these scapulas to move out and around the rib cage where my body weight is allowing that to stretch out. I like to think of this as, as my shoulder blades are moving away from each other, my rib cage is moving backwards in between them. 
This gets that really nice stretch. And then you're simply just going to breathe into that. So you're going to fully exhale everything out, pause for five seconds, and then gently inhale through the nose. And you should feel this area start to stretch out. Now you're going to do three rounds of five breaths. Again, I had her only do one round of five breaths and we saw awesome, awesome results. But for 